hundreds of high school and middle school students can now take Corinne virtually in person and in person and virtually in St. Paul Public Schools. It is believed to be the first of its kind in the nation. What a skill. School officials say the effort was led by a group of Karen parents. Before Yang got a look inside a classroom. Yeah, cuckoo. It's a combination of pitch and vowels. One leg. Washington Tech students listening intently. This one is as they learn to write and speak in the Korean language. So we've been learning the uh, the Korean alphabet and uh, like uh, combining the vowels. Uh, now we're starting to read like months, uh, weeks, and all that stuff. Like many of the hundreds of students taking the class in St. Paul Public Schools, Seishi Mei is Korean herself. It's uh, pretty amazing how like so many uh, Korean kids want to learn Korean. Like uh, I'm very proud of that. It's a language that was banned from the Karen home country in Myanmar, formerly Burma. And now it's being offered in four St. Paul public schools, which is believed to be the first of its kind in the nation. I think it is a great opportunity to kind of uh, rebuild your identity. Lucas Blesser was born in Burma and remembers fleeing his war-torn country in the 90s. How do we read this word? He never imagined years later he would be here teaching what is still forbidden in his native nation. Our team of teachers working very closely together in the last in the summer and you know preparing for the curriculum that has never been Established. Currently, there's about 2,600 Karen students in the district and about 17,000 Karen people in the state. I think our students are going to be able to stay, you know, closer connected to their family and their roots. Paul. Bridging the generational gap. That's partly what it's all about. I just hated not being able to speak, you know. Not able to communicate with my mother or my family. La A. Doa says the language course gives her confidence right, that right. they haven't been forgotten. Sometimes I feel like we tend to get overlooked. It gives her hope and pride to be Karen in Minnesota. In St. Paul, Pafuyang, 5 Eyewitness News.